Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. About a year ago, I decided to build myself a CNC mini router. I started by building a simple frame for the machine. I went with off-the-shelf linear ways for the Y and Z axes, uh, but for the X axis I built a custom carriage using track rollers in contact with angle iron rails integral to the metal frame I had built. While the Y and Z axis ways were driven by lead screws coupled directly to a stepper motor, I used a roller chain and drive sprocket to actuate the X axis, which in turn was driven by a stepper motor through a pair of speed reduction pulleys, giving a degree of mechanical advantage similar to that of a lead screw. For the spindle, I just used a small, inexpensive rotary tool. After completing the mechanical assembly, I assembled the electronics. I used off-the-shelf drive modules to control the stepper motors and an Arduino microcontroller to control the motor drivers based on input from a few manual control buttons and G-code that I could load onto an SD card. I was able to power all the components using an old computer power supply. Of course, I had to write a G-code interpreter program for the Arduino. In the interest of simplicity, for now my interpreter is only capable of reading linear interpolation commands. I also wrote a Python script that would extract line entities from a DXF file and convert them into G-code. I was able to get the machine working, but the spindle is underpowered and the rigidity of the axes leaves something to be desired. Overall, I would say that if you're just looking for a tabletop CNC router to use, you're probably better off buying one than building it from scratch like I did as there are ready-to-use CNC routers on the market that don't cost much more than I spent on components to build this one. However, this project did serve as a very educational exercise which allowed me to develop a more intimate understanding of the inner workings of CNC technology. If your goal is more to build a CNC machine just for the educational value of building a CNC machine, then a project like this is very worthwhile. In hindsight though, I would recommend taking a slightly less minimalistic approach to the mechanical design than I did, uh, so as to make it more rigid and capable of carrying a heavier payload, i.e. a more powerful spindle motor. Of course, that would cost a little more, but the end result would be a much more capable machine. 
Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.